Hello everyone. So now let's do the UDP flood flooding attack. In our this class, we are going to do this one. In the Fortigate firewall, we are going to do more detail. Now we are going to learn a small basic concept. If you see, uh, we are not going to use this topology because if I use, I need to teach you each and everything for the Fortigate so that we are going to do the coming classes. So now what we will do, we will do separately. So let me show you the different topology. I think not this. Let me take the other one. I think we can use this. Okay. Yeah, this one we can use. I have predefined topology here. If you see, uh, the, we are using the Kali Linux 192.168.1.1 .1, and here we are going to use 192.168.1.2. So let me start the Kali Linux and also the router. Already we have the IP address. In our previous class we already assigned. So let me check this Kali Linux will start here. Meanwhile I will take the router. So router will also start here. So with the help of Kali Linux we are going to do some UDP attack on R1. Okay. So we are going to check how we can do and how we can verify. If you see here, I will write enable show IP interface brief. So we have 1.2 IP to the router here. And in the Kali Linux, what I am going to write, I am going to write the username Linux and the password is 123. Okay, password is 123. Let me check something wrong I wrote. Yeah, now it is okay. Username is Linux and password is 123. After that, we are going to open the, this one. This is a terminal em emulation. In that one, we are going to write the command to do the UDP attack on this R1. And if you see in this R1, I will write show process CPU. And if you see what is the process use here, zero, okay, zero percent is used. After UDP attack, you will check. We will have so many things here. So what I will do if I want to do the UDP attack. First of all, I will check my IP. So what I will do. First of all, I will do sudo. Sudo super user. I will go inside the super user. Now I type the password. So now I am the super user. So I will write if config just to verify the IP address. I have the IP address 192.168.1.1. And I can ping the router 192.168.1.2. Okay, so I have the connectivity. Now I can perform the attack. If I want to perform the attack, this command we need to write. If you see here, let me keep this here. This is for UDP flood attack, flooding attack. Okay, so what imagine one guy in your office, he installed the Kali Linux in his USB and he is connected to your network, his laptop and he is running the Kali Linux. From the Kali Linux, he is trying to attack your gateway in your organization. So how he will do, he will do, he will write hping three, then dash two, dash dash flood and write the IP address of the router. So what is the IP of the router? We have IP if you see here, just now we ping, right? So what IP 1.2. So I will write here 1.2. Okay, so 1.2. This is the IP because we are using this IP. So now we will write that one 192.168.1.2 and press enter. Okay, and now you can check the CPU will increase if you go here and write here show process cpu and if you check here let me maximize if you see 44 percent if we wait some more time it will increase if you see now 90 percent if we wait for some more time it will restart it will switch off it will restart the router if you see now 64 and let me check now it is 66 and now let me show you 66 it will take some time after that you will have more let me show you 63 let me stop and send again this command i will press ctrl c now you will have zero percent here if you see you will have zero 
37 at last it will become 0 okay let me show you now become 0 now I will send the again the UDP attack so I will put up arrow and I will press enter and after some time if we run here it will increase the CPU still 0 now it will increase 55 if you see it is increasing okay now it is 78 so this way the guy can make the trouble in our organization to overcome this types of issue what we will do we will run the 40 gate firewall we will install 40 gate firewall uh, and we are going to use so many tools we have so many things in our coming classes we are going to learn if you have any server in your DMZ uh, zone or in your internal LAN site we will install 40 gate we will configure the DOS policy with the help of DOS policy we can avoid this types of attack okay to have you basic about the UDP attack, ICMP attack, TCP attack, we make two, three video, but we will have more detail in our 40 gate batch. Okay, I hope this is clear for you. Okay.